Two engines on the front, two on the back. Okay. I could do that. Yeah, I, I'll do a I'll do a four engine prop fighter. That actually sounds kind of fun. With like the twin in the front and the twin in the back, sort of like a heavy fighter. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what the first question should be. How should the guns be mounted? Mounted in the nose and the in the wings. Make it have canards. Okay, I can do that. Let me at least make it so his head isn't cut off. There we go. That's better. Now the question is, should I use the uh, the, the funny little uh, preset canopy or should I make my own? Because I kind of never used this before and I was wondering if I should. I think I gotta go with it, this. It looks cool. Good enough. What kind of tail should we do on this thing? I'm, I'm trying to think of how I want to make the back of it. How's the tail going to be shaped? Oh, so do you want it to have like a twin boom or... Twin boom? Yeah, everyone wants a twin boom. I'll definitely do a twin boom. Which is going to be really awkward to fit with the pusher props. Because it's going to be push-pull and it's going to have four engines. So it's going to be... Four engines, two props in the back, and a twin boom. Alright. Let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, Jimmy's ready. Can you add a nose gunner? Oh yeah, I can add a nose gunner. Let me focus on making the rest of the plane for- yeah, Actually, no. Who cares about the rest of the plane? I want a nose gunner. Wrong. But essentially the idea is the gunner's actually going to be laying down essentially under Jimmy and I'm going to make a little bottom part for him. But I need to make it more turreted. Or not more turreted, but I need to make it uh, a little bit more mobile. Still wondering how he's going to fit, because he's not gonna fit. So like, is he gonna be standing? Or like, is the gun gonna be like up top and he's just gonna be standing up shooting and obstructing the pilot's view? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, what's what's the name gonna be though? I do I do want a name before I continue because I want to save and reload it. Well, it'll, it'll just be the pickle prop for now, just for consistency with our other community build. You know, since we don't have a tail prop, I really want to do a tail gun. <laughs> Fifteen double new tail gun. <laughs> Alright, the, the tail gun, maybe I'll make it like a 30 mil, because that would be really funny, but I'm not going to file at it for the tail gun, I don't think. Okay, this guy, he isn't even going to have glass. So, sorry whoever's back here, but you're getting the bare minimum. Okay, rocket turret. Alright. We can pretend it's fixed to that very small mount. Okay, maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. Bad. Uh, I'm, I'm really loving the idea of just having a guy sitting back here. Who just gets, like, hit by the back blast of the rockets every time he fires one. There you go. You can only fire one shot and then the back blast gets you. That's what that is. So it's going to be a push-pull twin prop. So... Er, quad prop, sorry. With radials. Is it going to be inline engines or radial engines? Actually. So I'm assuming we'll do uh, air-cooled then. I'm going to do probably... Twin road, uh, seven cylinder radials. How's that sound? 14 cylinder air cooled. Oh yeah, it's gotta have canards. That's right. I can't forget that. And then we'll make it like a mixture of seven. Seven to one. And that's air to fuel. So basically this thing is going to be the least efficient piston engine known to man. I think that's suiting. The engineers will die and so will the mechanics exactly. Everyone will die. Even the gunners. Even the pilot. Everyone dies. 
Oh yeah, let me see what the performance curve looks like on these. That's a problem. What is happening here? You know, I bet it is... Um, yeah, I, I bet it was just uh, pre-ignition, but really bad. Yes, there will be. There will be no way. Hmm. Oh, man. This thing is just awful. It just gets worse. It gets worse every time I touch it. Well, that's what's fun about it. Oh, is that going to hit? Hold on. Let's do a simulated rotation here. It's, uh... Oh, it's barely clearing that. Hold on. <laughs> you know, they'll, they'll just get one exhaust. It's all being forced into that one little bit of exhaust right there. I think that's fair. Yaw only? Alright, we'll do, we'll do yaw on this little bit. Oh god, it's fat. I, th I thought it was a bit skinnier. Elevator for extra turn. Honestly, yeah, we could put like a little like nose gunner thing where the uh, the booms are. Put them in the booms, why not? I mean, it's not like the engines are attached to them or anything. Getting very crazy, yeah, that always happens when other people are commenting on it. And you know what? It, I'm gonna say it, this thing has its own charm to it. Like, if you ignore the canard and the tail gunner, it actually kind of feels like something that might exist and would actually be kind of fun. You know, I am delusional, thank you. We're making... You know what we're making? We're making a W tail. That's what we're doing. That's what this is, since it's a twin Y. There we go. No clue if these control surfaces are going to actuate properly, but uh, we can hope. So... Uh, just the landing gear now, I guess. We'll make them retract, but we'll just make them hang out a little bit like that. What? <laughs> and yeah, we'll lay it down as well, just so it's not poking out. And that's a hundred rounds of 75 mil. Actually, I suppose I could do two of them if I did it that way. So, you know what? Why not? There you go. Now each gun's got their own ammo source. Alright, I want to see if this thing even loads in and works now really quick. Because I feel like something's going to be horrifically wrong and it's going to explode. Okay, I'm going to turn down the master volume. Oh, it's still so loud. Oh, it's only yaw control surfaces the nose, by the way, like the canards on the nose. Oh yeah. The game's just throwing errors at me, I wonder why. That is a beauty gun sound. I have it selected, I mean, I'm not... Okay. There we go, now, 
Oh my god, it shoots backwards. Hold on. Okay, then. Yeah, the rear engines are just dying over there. We've made it, guys. The it's just become the ultimate ground attacker. Better yet, I'll just set the final drive on them both to 0 0.8. Because they clearly have no problem getting up to speed. So... <laughs> Dude, it's going 300 miles an hour in a straight line. What? And it's still accelerating a little bit. Let's see that rate of climb. Yeah, it's literally better than an A-10. The US government should hire me to design their ground attack aircraft. Look, it even climbs better than the A-10. I mean, like, what, what is there to lose? Oh yeah. 